down on the bench. In terms of being the first women's hockey outdoors, um, it's it's always fun to be the first, and it's it definitely is uh, something that will be remembered, and we hope to set the bar as high as possible. And um, like we said last night, like if we can make this uh, a great hockey game, maybe attract more more fans to women's ice hockey as a sport. And um, you know the experience that we're giving these student athletes right now is just absolutely tremendous. And if we could put on a show good enough to make that a possibility for more female hockey teams down the road, then I think that would be doing a, a pretty awesome thing. With this being a television game, beyond the fact that you're going to have the bright lights and Fenwick Park shining down on the ice, you're going to have a pace of the television game with TV timeouts and whatnot. How does that change how you go through the motions during a game with the pace slowed down like that? I know women's hockey games usually take about two hours long, and this would probably be extended to two and a half. Yeah, we, we were talking about that, uh, you know, we each gets a little more opportunity to get a few of the players that we don't want out there out there, but in the same sense of we, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll learn that a little bit and go through and feel it out in the first period, how long will it be, how often will it happen, you know, we've never experienced that before, so it'll be a learning process for us, but it's more time to talk to your team, it's more time to corral them in, keep them focused, talk about things they need to do, so you don't always have that, and, you know, in our games we have... 15 seconds for the kids to get out over the boards into the face-off. So it could work to an advantage for both teams. Uh, something we're completely have never experienced and not used to. So I think if anything else, it's going to be an advantage for both teams when it comes to rest for your top players um, and just uh, strength. Yeah! yeah. since the game preparedness has got to be you know, the focus. What have you guys been doing leading up to here, knowing that there are going to be different conditions with the weather and whatnot? This is a league game against UNH. What have you been doing to try to prepare the most prepared face the UNH tomorrow? I think we've just been trying to focus on our game, not adjusting to anything else. I think we come out and try to play a different style of hockey than what we've been playing. That's not going to get us the result that we want. I think focusing on how we play hockey and what has brought us those successes and we're going to keep doing that tomorrow. We haven't really changed our routine at all. We've done the same drills and kept the same intensity, so I'm hoping to ride the momentum. Yeah, we were out, even out there in the cold doing our warm-up just to keep the you know, schedule the same. More questions to Super Hunters? For Annie or Kate, um, does this feel at all like a home game for you since it's in your city, or is it more kind of a neutral site thing because it's Fenway Park and we want to kind of I mean, it's a home game in the sense it's a Boston game. I mean, sleep in your own beds, you know, go to your regular breakfast place, you know, in that sense, yeah. But I mean, you come to Fenway Park, you're not going to Matthews Arena. And especially with the sense that um, we'll probably have a little more attendance than we used to at our so <laughs> that, that'll in itself make it a world of a difference. Does the fact that this is the uh, first uh, women's outdoor game just add to the excitement for you two? There? I honestly didn't even know that was it until I think I read it in a newspaper or something uh, last week, but it's kind of cool to be a part of something new. Any final questions for the student athletes? I know I talked to you and Annie yesterday about it, but for the whole team, how many of your family members and friends are going to be taking up, taking up the crowd, and, and how have they reacted to, well, to the situation? Um, well, my dad was actually out on the ice, <laughs> so he wasn't missing a beat. Um, I think I think he said when he said you could buy a new Zamboni with the amount of tickets he got. Yeah, I think they have three sections. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more. Oh, one more.